Hey, how's it going everyone? Eddie Martinez here with the Recording Radio and Film Connection and welcome back to another Logic Pro X sound design tutorial. Now in this video, we're gonna go ahead and learn how to do the pre-reverb effect, which sounds like this. Let's go ahead and hear it. Bay, bay. Oh, 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 bay, bay. And of course, if you didn't hear that, let's go ahead and hear it one more time. What we're really listening to is what's going on in measure 16. And we're, we're going to get this like vocalized uh, buildup of reverb before the actual words uh, actually happen, which sounds pretty cool. Bay, bay. Oh, 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 bay, bay. Now this could be used in a couple different applications. It could just be used over a nice vocal like this, or it could be used uh, in spoken word if you want to make things sound kind of creepy. Uh, that, this is the effect that they use. Okay, cool. Uh, now, what we're gonna go ahead and do is we're just gonna go ahead and delete this, and we're gonna start. Uh, now, first thing we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna wanna go ahead and bounce this track over. Oh, let's go ahead and not do that. We're gonna wanna go ahead and bounce this track over, so we're gonna wanna move our loop section just a bit, uh, so that when we do, do that, uh, we have a little bit of extra. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, bounce in place. And we're gonna name name this track right here. We'll call this Baby Lyric. And we'll hit OK. So now we have an exact copy of what we had earlier. Awesome. We'll hit solo right there. And our previous track will not be heard. It's actually currently muted. Okay, just uh just so you know. Alright, cool. Uh, now what we're gonna go ahead and do is we're gonna jump over to our audio effects and add the reverb, platinum verb, stereo. And we're gonna move our wet all the way up. Cool. And uh, we'll hear how it sounds. I'm gonna actually lower this a bit. Bay, bay. Oh, 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 bay, bay. So now we hear a lot of reverb, which sounds pretty cool. Uh, next step, all we're going to need to do is uh, select our uh, piece of audio right here. We're going to go to Function. We're going to go to Reverse. Cool, and as you can see, our audio has been reversed. And we'll hit Play again. Okay, cool. Uh, now, sometimes you lose a little bit of um, volume, and that's why I have this track right below it. Uh, this track has um, has a limiter and a compressor. It even has a reverb, but I'm going to go ahead and turn that off. Uh, so the compressor is just a very simple uh, vocal compressor. It's just a preset uh, that I have right here. Uh, same with the limiter. I just kind of boosted some of the uh, levels there. So I'm going to bring this down. I'm actually going to bring this uh, right there. Okay, so uh, we're going to start at 16. And... We'll go, we'll go ahead and go to our first track right here that we started with. We can even delete this track. We don't need that one anymore. Uh, we can go to this very top track, right click it, and go to our mute on and off button right here. And let's go ahead and how, uh, see how it sounds together. Bay, bay. Oh, 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 bay, bay. Bay, bay. Oh, 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 bay, bay. We'll hear it one more time. Bay, bay. Oh, 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 bay, bay. Very nice. Okay, so that's how you do the reverse reverb effect in Logic Pro X. Hope the video was helpful. If you guys liked the video, go ahead and leave your comments and thoughts down below. If you haven't already, of course, subscribe to our channel. I'm Eddie Martinez, and of course, I'll catch you guys on the next video. Peace.